Good morning, guys. Dragon Man here. I'm in my beautiful house. It's only 8 o'clock in the morning, and uh, I got something to show you. Yeah, this is a uh, 1923 tea bucket. See that? Beautiful car. I love these tea buckets. And uh, the reason I like tea buckets from the uh, 20s uh, is because they're very light. You put a big motor in there, and uh, they're really fast. And next, I like the uh, coupes, the 30s, uh, 31, 32. After the 1930s, the cars uh, really got a little heavier, and uh, you'd have to put a bigger and bigger motor in it to really get going. So the uh, lighter cars are really, the hot rods are in 1920 and 1930s. Okay, so anyway, let me uh, show you this one here. Let's say we uh, shorten the back. We put a Corvette motor in there, Corvette rear end, Corvette transmission, chop the top about a foot and a half, and that would really be a cool tea bucket. Well, anyway, come on outside. I want to show you. I just bought another one. A chop top tea bucket. You've probably never seen one. I just about fit in it. There it is, my newest hot rod, a chop top tea bucket and a shortened bed. 350 small block Corvette motor, transmission and uh, Corvette rear end. Uh, it's got a uh, four core uh, radiator. You see the whole uh, back here has been shortened. Corvette rear end. Horseless carriage uh, license plates in Colorado. Those license plates go with the car the rest of its life. All we have to do is renew it. And uh, yeah, come around here. I'm going to start it up for you. Here we got the fuel pump on. And we're going to. Get a little gas, start it up. Oh, that sounds great. That is hot. This thing flies, takes off like an airplane. Motorcycle wheel for the front, headed. Beautiful back wheel.